This person here says, wasn't that a segment where Roman said he was putting an announcement off until Friday? Well, yeah, but no one knew that when they waited around to see Roman. Literally, yes. what they advertised, it was after Roman had unified the titles, and they advertised that Roman Reigns is going to come out on the show, and he is going to tell us what's next. They didn't advertise, Roman's going to come out and tell us to wait until Friday. They said, Roman will come out tonight and tell us, and it didn't help. It didn't matter. And yes, once he was out there, then he announced, well, you know, I'll tell you Friday. Which, uh, it's one of those things where WWE, uh, I don't know what the word would be. Uh, you know, some would say working. Some would use another term. But uh, they clearly want to trick you. <laughs> they want they want you to stick around. Well, no, they want you to stick around. And then, uh, you know, once you stick around, you aren't necessarily going to get what was promised. And, you know, I think and obviously Bizarre. this is the case, they feel that you'll just keep falling for it. But the reality is, it is, I think we've seen from some of the following numbers that, like, a lot of people don't fall for it anymore. You know, you you advertise this or that, and, uh, you know, maybe they'll record it instead of waiting around for it and then, and then watch it later if they find it that actually happened. But, I mean, how many times could you tell people that you're going to do something and not do it? And they do it all the time. But in Vince's, in Vince's mind, as we learn from... The uh, Sasha Naomi situation. If Vince comes up with an idea for next week, and he changes his mind, all's fair. He didn't deliver it, but it's because he changed his mind. If he books something for next week, and you walk out, you let down the entire universe. <laughs> you let down millions of people mm -hmm. because you know he didn't change his mind. You walked out. So you let down the universe. If he books it and he changes his mind, well, he didn't let down the universe. He just changed his mind. Because he's a hypocrite! No offense to anyone named Bert. But when no. you spell it with a U, it's much worse. Vinny, you gotta go to NXT and your name is Bert, okay? <laughs> you can either spell it B-E-R-T or B-U-R-T. You're gonna look at both of those and you're gonna go, E for sure. Yeah. Right, Craig? Craig knows. Yeah, because like, like, I drank so much, I burnt. <laughs> You know <laughs> what? First it was Narcissus. Okay. But then later it changed to the narcissist. Yes. With a T. Yes. But that wasn't narcissist. That was the narcissist. The narcissist. No. The narcissist. Who cares? Bert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bert narcissist. <laughs> like Bert. Bert. I'm sorry. I need to recover from Bert narcissist. <laughs> He's such a narcissist. He kept the name Bert. <laughs> yeah. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.